Where's the little nugget? There he is! There he is! Hey, we got some big plans with your goat friends today, buddy. What goat friends? He's never met a goat. <gasps> Do you want to meet the goats today? That might be cute. Good morning. We have a very special thing happening today. As you guys probably know, we have our cashmere goats. Here are two of them, Odin and Olaf. And we have two more, Isabel and Marco. Olaf is a castrated male. So basically, he can't have babies. Odin, King Odin can have babies. And we have one female and then one more uh, castrated male. So today, we are gonna bring the female we're gonna bring all the goats together basically so they can be one big happy family. And the reason we had them separated is because Isabel, the female, was not yet one year old. And once she becomes one year old, she's allowed to carry babies. So now that she's old enough, we're gonna co-mingle them. And maybe, just maybe, she will be having babies. Uh, I believe cashmere goats are pregnant for around six months. I can't remember if it's five or six months. So if she does get pregnant, she will have babies in the summertime, and uh, it'll be really exciting. We can have baby cashmere goats. So, they've really been missing each other. Goats are really social animals, they like to be together. So I'm very happy to put them all finally together. So this is the first time that this gate has been open for them in a really long time. Pretty much since we got them and made the fence. All right guys, you're going to your new house. Go ahead. Go ahead. Can I close that up? <laughs> oh, they're so excited to see each other. You gotta make sure they stay in there. How far will this thing swing? Almost all. Well, it hit that post at one point. Okay, now we have to herd them in. Good. Wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> this way, this way. Almost. Almost. Oh, there she goes. Yay! You did it, you're all together. Yeah, I brought some more buckets. So we don't have to feed them on the ground. They're big I just threw that on the ground because I didn't want it to. Uh... Yeah, but Tilly said feed them with buckets, and I think maybe it's like horses where they'll get. Now they're a big family. This makes me so happy. Oh, so a little bit of that's about to happen. You're all together. He's introducing them slowly, is it? We have to bring their houses over there. They're gonna have a little village. So what's happening right now is that Isabel and Marco, they used to be on the other side, and over there Isabel was the queen. And she got to eat first, and she bossed Marco around, and now they're all together, uh, she's no longer the queen. Or she is, but Olaf is trying to bully her out of eating. There's like a very strong pecking order among them. So they're having to, now that they're all together, they have to refigure out their social structure and who's boss. We got some new things to climb, Isabel. Who's gonna climb it first? But Olaf, he's the very curious one. There we go. There he goes. Whoa, what have you found? Whoa, careful. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you love it, you love it. Last but not least, their toy log. Yeah, it's a fun trail. Whoa! <laughs> Little seesaw. 
They're fearless. <laughs> Odin's so jealous. Odin's gonna knock it down. Odin's spinning at him. Jump on him. <laughs> I am about to film a video for my Dr. Gallagher channel. Switching up the scenery, filming it in the truck. I'm gonna try this out. We are right by a road, so it might be loud. But I'm doing a video on some road trip essentials. You guys ask me about that kind of stuff all the time, so I thought I'd make a video about it. And it'll be up by the time you're watching this vlog, so I'll put a link right here, and you can watch uh, some of my road trip essentials that I bring every time, or I try to bring at least. Wow, would you look at that? All four goats eating out of their own little bowls. Not fighting or anything, just being civilized little animals. What table, what great table manners they have. The two boys watching TV together? Two little best friends? We are out to dinner for Kevin's mom's birthday. And Emmett is doing a really good Yoda impression that I just want you guys to see. Eat as well. Do the Yoda one though, what you, the voice. Do you do Yoda? Eat as well. This is called the boys try and be civilized at a fancy restaurant, but they can't control themselves. Try my Pig and hog. Pig and hog? Okay. Is he doing? And sour. Let me try. Let me and try. sour? Let me try. Are you doing wine tastings? Hmm. Seal and seahorse. And salt. What? Train, hung, horn, car, and a blue whale. Okay, Train, car, and a blue whale. Let me try. And peas. Oh, and peas. Oh, very good. And uh, peace try. and love. <laughs> let me try, let me try. I've heard of the city, I've heard of the but I. Okay, surf wax, um, car oil. Tanning lotion uh, and citrus. I'm on the second. Here, try this kind of like. Last sip. Here, try this. This is gonna be a good one, right? I'm a good one. No, do mine. Do mine. I don't think so. No, thank you. Ho, ho, ho! No, you go to bed. All right, guys, we're gonna go to bed soon. I'm very excited about putting all the goats together today. I will keep you guys updated on whether I think Isabel gets pregnant or not. There's no way, I don't know if I can actually tell unless I see it happen. So I'm not sure, I mean, I'm sure there's some kind of test we can do or something, but I'll keep you updated. I'm gonna have to do a little research and learn more about that. But maybe in six months, we'll have some cute little cashmere goat babies running around. Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep. I hope you guys have an awesome morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the whole world, and we will see you tomorrow.